All right, guys. Welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. This is Ali Plays, and today we're going to be doing an in-depth guide slash review on Roz and Scarhide. So as always, we're going to be going over skills, artifacts, and masteries, and we're going to take him to clan boss battle. So this build is very good for clan boss, as well as faction wars. So with this build that I did, uh, Rosin basically carried me through the uh, I think stage seven in faction wars, where you have to fight the boss, the one with the um, the new debuffs, the fear and perfect fear. This guy literally was the last guy alive, and he was carrying me through because he has life steal. And he was just reducing her turn meter and attacking and recovering his health until she was dead. So this is how how beastly Rosin Scarhide is. So yeah, we're going over artifact skills and masteries. And yeah, let's get started. So Rosin Scarhide, I just fused him like a week and a half ago. And I uh, got a chance to play around with him a bit. Uh, he's part of the Lizardman faction. He's a force affinity. And he's a defense-based champion. So defense-based champions are usually one of the best champions in the game. Because they double dip into one stat for survivability as well as uh, damage. Which is kind of overpowered if you ask me. Yeah, let's look at his skills. So his first skill is A1. Attacks one enemy three times. So he's got a triple hit. Uh, so he's going to be very good with Giant Slayer. And he has a 20% chance of removing a random buff from the target. So I have no skill books on him. But if you increase the his skill, it's going to be very good. Because there's going to be a 45% chance of removing one round buff from the target. Uh, which will help you out a lot a lot of the dungeons as well as clan boss when he has uh, attack up uh, you can get rid of that and other dungeons like spirit and spirit and um, magic keep his a2 he attacks one enemy and he has a 75 percent chance of placing a 60 percent decreased defense debuff and a 25 percent weakened debuff for two turns so what i really like about this is he has weaken on his a2 so that i can automatically uh i know it's not 100 percent uptime but if you max it out, it's going to be a three-turn cooldown. Not like Aethel. Aethel is 100% uptime on her A1. If you have the, if you're fighting the proper affinity, so I like using him when there's an affinity advantage, which will increase his chances of landing his uh, weakened ability. So if he maxes out, it's going to be a three-turn cooldown, uh, which is pretty good. But four turns is quite long, so I would recommend getting books on him. But I'm saving my skill books for Arbiter when I get her. So that's the reason why I haven't booked him yet. It's going to be a 100% chance. Of landing uh, decrease uh, defense and uh, weaken as long as you meet the accuracy threshold which is 200 for nightmare 150 for brutal and yes I guess it's like 50 increments I think ultra nightmare is much higher though so bog down is a three is an aoe and decreases the terminator by 100% and it's on a six turn cooldown so it's a long cooldown because the ability is uh, quite powerful uh, it's very good for faction wars. Very, very, very good for dungeons uh, like Spider's Den for that because of this ability. And he has an aura skill that increases ally resistance in the arena by 90. So yeah, you can even use him in arena if you want to um, increase your ally resistance. So overall, uh, he's got a very solid kit, and he is a f technically he is free to play because you can fuse under the fusion section. If you guys are not aware, you guys probably know that by now. So yeah, technically he is free to play, and I would recommend. Uh, working on him as soon as you can So that's like an artifact so artifacts we're looking for accuracy as a substat because we want to make sure that he has the threshold uh, Meets a threshold of 200 if you want to go nightmare 150 for brutal So we're that's one substat we're looking for we're looking for speed and We're looking for defense percentage as well as HP percentage anything relating to attack is not a clan boss build So we're not going to be looking at that. So this is primarily a clan boss build but it can also be used in uh, faction wars and dungeons but not uh, not very well in arena so yeah we're going for uh, lifesteal and accuracy if you have enough accuracy you can go for a speed set uh, we have crit rate here uh, defense percentage this is why I'm using this 10% defense percentage there's a substat 17 accuracy and with this one with this accuracy shield we have 31 accuracy and 8 speed as well as 4% defense. And we're using a defense primary gloves. We're using defense primary gauntlets. Uh, I could I could get a better one. I just need to farm a uh, dragon to get a better one. I'll prefer if I can get five or six star uh, with better substats for sure. So that's improvement right there. So if you don't have an accuracy banner, I would recommend you using an accuracy chest plate primary so you can land those debuffs because those debuffs are gonna be a big difference in damage uh, depending on if you land them or not. Especially weak in your, it's gonna boost your allies' uh, damage overall. So if you have if you have an accuracy banner, then run defense percentage or HP percentage primary. And if you don't like me, then run this. And of course, I can be improving it by going for five star or six star. 
uh, pieces, but I still have to uh, farm some more artifacts. And as always, for boots, for primary, we're going for speed. And we got some accuracy here, so let's get an HP percentage. And let's move on to the accessories. So for the ring, I chose this ring. It has defense as primary. 10% HP percentage and 5% defense percentage. Attack is not even uh, something that we shouldn't even look at, so... Uh, just there is a bonus what well, doesn't really benefit anything the reason why i'm using this amulet it's, i'm not using it for the attack because that's not gonna help them at all uh it's for the accuracy right here i had a double roll on accuracy so that's why i'm using it so i get 28 bonus accuracy from it and i don't have an accuracy banner as i stated so i'm using hp 3347 hp and we roll speed on it once unfortunately could have rolled speed three times that would have been amazing total stats so we got 31,381 health points uh, defense is 2,584 a little bit on the low end because he's uh, doesn't have a defense percentage chest piece speed uh, I would recommend getting this 200 if you can meet the accuracy threshold so I'm at 212 accuracy right now and everything else uh, doesn't matter for clan boss so we're gonna rate Roz and Scar Hyde right now so for arena offense because of that huge uh, well you got to build him differently if you want to use him for arena well, the accuracy is correct because you want to decrease the turn meter of the enemy. And also you want to build a lot of damage. So it does a lot of damage with his AOE. So I'm going to give him a very good for Arena. Uh, the only reason why I'm giving him very good is that I don't like switching uh, different sets between Arena and Clan Boss. But if you want to build him purely for Arena, 5 on defense. I'm going to change his rating. I'm going to give him 5. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Because I'm rating the champion, I'm not rating why, like what I don't like doing. So that's why I gotta switch it back to a five. And Painlish's location will give him a very good. He can solo it, but it will take longer. Because his AoE is on long uh, cooldown. Clan Boss, I'm gonna give him excellent. Fire Nice Castle, he's got a triple hit, you gotta give him a five. Minotaur's Labyrinth, five. Spider's Den, I'm gonna give him a very good for Spider's Den. Dragon's Lair is a five. Magic Keep, five. Force Keep, five. Ice Golem's Peak, 5, why not? Spear Keep, we're going to give him a 4. And then Void Keep, we're going to give him a 5. So that's the reasons. Ratings for Roz and Scar Hide. We're going to submit the ratings. We're going to look at the recommended artifacts that uh, the game uh, recommends by default. It's probably for arena builds. So this is what they consider the arena build, which I don't agree with. Yeah, I don't agree with this, man. They got um, defense set. Accuracy set and HP set or life set. They got boost with the HP percentage primary, but this guy's not even gonna get a turn if you build him like this. He should deal a decent amount of damage once if he gets a turn, but most likely he won't. Uh, depending on if you have speed boosters or not. So yeah, we're gonna follow that. So we're gonna submit that. And uh, let's go take a look at the masteries. So with Rosin Scarhide, I went through the offense and support trees. We got crit rate right here. We got crit damage. Uh, we got uh, this ability right here. Increases damage inflicted by 5% when attacking full HP. Soul drink, uh, life drinker, I mean. Deals by 5% of the damage inflicted when attacking 50% HP or less. So I'll help him a bit with his uh, life stealing. Bring it down. Increases damage inflicted by 6% when attacking targets with higher max HP. So the clan boss has higher max HP. That's why we're using that. Kill streak. Increases damage inflicted by 6% in the arena and 3% in all other locations where each enemy killed by his champion battle. Stats across each round of battle up to 12%. So this ability is not going to be used for uh, clan boss, but it should be viable in Spider's Den and Dungeons and any other location other than clan boss. But we actually need it to achieve Giant Slayer. So Giant Slayer does damage based on clan bosses, max HP or other bosses or champions in general. Uh, it's 3% for, for bosses and 7.5% of champions. So you'll be doing a lot of damage, especially when he has his weaken up on the on the clan boss or any other target. So we got accuracy here, accuracy plus 10. Uh, increase accuracy by 20 when the champion has no skills on cooldown. Uh, we got swarm smart, increase accuracy by four for each enemy alive. Stacks up to 16, so this is huge for spiders then. Uh, we get arcane celerity. Has a 30% chance of increasing the turn meter by 10% when the debuff cast by the champion is removed or expires. So he has decreased defense and weaken. So that will uh, give him a chance to boost his turn meter. And we got Lore of Steel, which will only be working on his accuracy. It's not going to be working on the Life Steel. Yes, Lore of Steel is always good to have. And we have Cycle of Magic, has a 5% chance of decreasing the cooldown of random skill by one turn at the start of every turn. We have Sniper, increases the chance of placing any debuff from skill to artifacts by 5%. 
And we have Master Hexer. Has a 30% chance to extend the duration of any debuff cast by this champion by one turn. Uh, he has weaken and decrease defense, as I stated before. So that's it for the masteries for Roz and Scarhide. Offense and defense. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go and use Rosin on the clan boss. So unfortunately, we already beat Nightmare. I mean, it's good that we beat Nightmare. <laughs> I did 50 million four keys because of the Force Affinity. So, oh, this is Force Affinity as well. Whatever. Okay, we're gonna go for Brutal. I have one key. Uh, we're running Martyr Lead, Apothecary, Foley, Juliana, and Rosin Scarhide. Okay, so when it's Rosin's turn, you want to make sure you get that uh, Weaken off. Let's see if it, we can get it. Okay, we got Weaken. We didn't get Decreased Defense, but that's okay. Uh, Martyr applies Decreased Defense, so that's fine. I think the Accuracy Threshold for this is uh, 150. So we're like way over that, so that's good. So we shouldn't have any problems with debuffs. If the issue is that my rosin is kind of slow, I still got to work on his artifacts. See, 82,000 damage from Giant Slayer uh, because we have decreased defense and we have weakened up. So that was perfect, he went after Foley. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to, um, I'm gonna put it on auto. I'm not gonna put it on auto. I'm gonna fast forward and then I'll uh, stop right before we get wiped and then you can see the final score. Uh, you can see the final score for the battle.
We're just gonna do it, man. He's gonna stun her anyways. Okay, this guy is hilarious. Like, right when I do it on camera, he doesn't want to stun Martyr. But when I do it off camera, he stuns her all the time. Even when it's Force Affinity. He's gonna stun her. I want her to counterattack. When she gets her turn. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we got 14 mil. That's pretty low. One time I got like 21 mil or something. Without, uh, not with this team, some other team. So he's got 3.5 million. Oh, not too shabby. Could be way better. Uh, he's gonna get the proper speed. Because you can see my guys are really slow. Uh, my only champion that's over 200 speed is Apothecary. So I still gotta work on everybody else's speed while <laughs> giving them lifesteal and uh, the proper accuracy to land the debuffs. Let's check out Faction Wars for a sec. So my Lizardman got 19 stars. Uh, Knight Revenant got 16 stars. 10 stars for Barbarians. 13 stars for High Elves. Yeah, so Roz and Scarhide I feel is better than Foley. Um, I would recommend working on him since he is a, he is a fusion champion. You can get him. Uh, he's not he's not even a limit time fusion. He's there uh, forever, permanently until you fuse him. Then he's gone. As you can see, uh, for me he is gone. So I would recommend getting him as soon as you can, because he'll be a big boost to your team. So I would give him like a nine out of ten. Yeah, he's very very good. I uh, don't regret fusing him. Obviously. I wouldn't regret it even if I got them from a sacred shard. So that's it for the video guys. If you guys found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you guys are new to the channel, it's the first time watching me, definitely hit that big red subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit the bell icon to let YouTube know you want to see up to date on all my latest content. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.